to arms, my brethren. To arms, brave orcs and humans. Twilight falls, and the enemy awaits. Alright, hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna try a little bit of a fun cheese strat, because I figure you guys have seen enough of uh, me doing it in terms... Like, we had like five minutes left, like it's just, it was no time at all, so... Threatens these lands. So we're gonna try a bit of a cheese strat. Alright, so we're gonna basically just use that up. The land so we're buying a potion of vulnerability. And I guess I might as well just sell some other crap that we don't want. So she's got a potion as well. And we're gonna take landmines. And we're gonna try and choose this, because that sounds kind of fun to me, so... Uh, that should be great times. So... Priestess Taranda, the undead have begun to construct a new settlement. It won't be long before they start attacking our allies. For Kalimdor. All right, so we're gonna clear out some trees here. For Kalimdor. See how well this goes. Inventory is yes, inventory is full. Just sell all this crap we don't need anymore. The land and all right, one. and then they come over here. Actually, actually, we need to we need to clear out one more thing of trees. I know Dora. It shall be done. Our allies town needs help. Has sleep told my senses. Come on. Alright, there we go. Someone opens the wilds. The undead are attacking. Send help. So we're making ballistas. And we basically bought a shit ton of mines. So the plan is to run in the middle of their base, destroy every capability they have of making, uh, constructing units, and then uh, finishing, them off, finishing them off with ballista, all the production buildings. Uh, and after we do that, uh, I, th I think I think they just won't do anything anymore, which just seems kind of funny to me. But I mean, I, I, I like I like finding little things like this. So. It was suggested somewhere, and I'm like, hey, I'm like, sure, why not? Let's try that. All right, so let's give it a good old save, Rooney. All right. Uh, I may have canceled that that guy, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do make this for destruction purposes. So they send in some shit eventually to come in because they realize, hey, you're going into the middle of their base, so... So she's gonna just go here. He is going to do a bunch of stuff here. Unfortunately, I have to click this because, uh, like I said before, I don't have any hotkeys for this. I don't think they have anything else. Alright. Now with the ballista, we go into the corner here. And I think we just win. I would like to revive her though, because she's useful. That's why I kind of gave her all the decent items. Except she they can't actually see the siege thing, unless they go maybe over here. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it. There you go. Let's uh, re resurrect her. So after... Our warriors have engaged. Wait, why can't they see it anymore? Why is there like this one place that they can see it from? What the fuck? There you go. So as soon as she's up, I think she has enough vision range for that as well. So I don't think they'll be able to make anything anymore, but we'll see. They might get all buggy and like not do anything anymore, because I don't think they really expect you to do this. But they can't remake the buildings, that's the big thing. Our allies town needs help. Now they will remake it uh, in certain scenarios, uh, such as if you let them capture the next base, but if you just don't let them capture the next base, uh, there's no problem, so... Okay, cool, we can kill that thing. Okay, unfortunately I didn't go far enough with that. Our oh, we'll just hang out here. Now hopefully she will have this. Because I'm literally destroying their production capabilities, so we'll see. They still have uh, another base right here, but I think we can just go in there again with the same kind of dealie. Uh, that's why I kind of regret... Yeah, 
this is a lot of fucking garbage here that they have to deal with, so maybe we'll uh, make a couple of Our more units. Town needs help. I think we have enough ballista. So this should really seriously hamper their ability to make units here. Well, they still have another one here, they have another one there. But they should generally just glitch the fuck out, I, th I would think. I I'm not sure how else to, to handle this, though. Uh, do they do they have uh, Trolls Trappers? Our allies yeah, no, there's help. nothing really here. Uh, looks like they're just making more, though. Someone Okay, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm just gonna run into the middle of this and I'm just gonna sleep. I'm gonna just uh, start fall them all. Let's see how this goes. I mean, I can't really do much more than that, other than to like just tell them to come over here and hit stuff. Yeah, because that doesn't do anything. I hear the voice of I mean, we can we can get more mines. Yeah, we can definitely get more mines now. Someone threatens the wild. By Let's try that next. We'll just bring the ballista over. The goddess. So let's just sell the rest of the stuff. Yeah, it looks like they continue to make things. They can just make it at a very ridiculous rate. As long as I can hold it off, then I think we're fine. I guess I should have done that then. I should have uh, had another... Maybe I should do it with two superheroes. Uh. Interesting. As the goddess wills. By Elun. So be it. Can I help you? Someone threatens the wild. Alright. Our warriors have engaged. Let's try this. Uh, so I'm going to basically run in there. I'm going to hit these two, and then that should be it. I, they shouldn't be able to build much more against me. Yeah, we're just running in. So be it. Our warriors Just to kill this guy. So be it. By yeah, they remake units in incredibly quickly. But maybe maybe we'll win with just this. As the goddess wills. Oh, here's Archibond. So be it. By Elune. As the goddess wills. O Kalimdor. Okay. They should not be able to make anymore. Let's see if I can actually evacuate her. Uh, very unlikely I'm going to be able to evacuate her out of here. So, what happens now? I ask myself. I don't know what happens now. I haven't really thought this far ahead. Because they should actually have no capabilities of building anything except for frostworms on the back here. Uh, so what do they even do? <laughs> I I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they have one catapult, so I, I think they're gonna have some kind of script where they basically say like, "Hey, I I, I need some more uh, catapults," and they they're just not making them because they they actually literally do not have the capabilities to do so anymore. All right, so that's kind of the play I think. I think the play is to bring the first hero in to basically kill all the workers, kill the town hall. And then the second hero, after it restocks, takes out the production, the, the two production buildings that are next to each other. Because it doesn't, it actually looks like they've bugged out. Hi right, guys, welcome back to, um... It has begun. Uh, well, apparently, the uh, the me. forces of, uh, Archimonde or whatever are completely decimated. Um, so the strategy worked, uh, worked a little too well, actually. I didn't actually expect him to completely not attack me anymore. So the scripting fucked up and, uh... Yeah, he just kind of hangs out in base and uh, uh, doesn't really do anything. Whatever, bro. They even tried to bring some mines to kill the boneyard, but apparently uh, they didn't go off. 
So yeah, um, I know there's oh, I know there's gonna be someone so fucking pissed that I I beat it this way, but come on, it's it was four minutes left, and quite honestly, uh, what I had been doing actually for I, I I attempted this actually like three or four more times actually with different strategies actually. I actually want to see the effectiveness of certain other units, uh, like catapults and uh, other things like that. I, I think, honestly, if you wanted to beat it, like, you just do the exact same thing as before, and the only thing I would have incorporated is Cyclone. And you use that on, like, the hero units or Research something else, because it's a 20-second disable. It's insane. I, I didn't actually use this enough in the, in the campaign, but uh, that's, how, that's all I would have added. Um, I figure since we have, like, like less than ten minutes left. Um, I was really bored. I actually even like spelt out my name on the map. Um, I think I, I think I, I figured I would talk about the night elf unit since like he's just he's not doing anything anymore. But like as I said, it's like I thought I thought the cheese is kind of cool to 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 try out. Like I had a lot of fun just attempting it. So um, and and actually, don't get me wrong. It, that wasn't the first attempt of the cheese. It, it was like the third attempt. Like the first time, it was like I. I brought it never I don't know it's just don't worry about it anyways I was gonna talk more about the units so um, oh night elves God. compared to orcs humans and undead uh, so I figured this would be kind of my favorite and I know why it was my favorite last time uh, it's because they were ranged units I've always liked the Terran for like their their ranged kind of specialist units uh, in, in Starcraft the night elf are kind of close to that and the, the fact that they have these specialist spellcasters right our time. But now that I've actually looked at a lot of the units, like the Hippogriff is something I, I used a lot. They're not that good actually. Like they look at their damage, 25 to 37. 25 to 37. It's because it's literally just an archer on top of a, a Hippogriff. Um it's really that's really weird. Like they're just they're they're not as strong as I would think. Research. Uh, there's also a lot of counters to a lot of the night elf units. Also, I, I ancient protectors. I liked every other tower except for this one. This is my least favorite tower. I think mostly because of the siege damage and and stuff. I mean, I get it; they can move around, but I, they're so they're so expensive for what they give you. They're so yeah, they're so bad. I don't know. Apparently, they improve a little bit in Frozen Throne. Apparently, Blizzard thought the same thing, and they changed them around a bit. So I guess we're gonna see. Uh, but uh, quite honestly, I wouldn't say. Well, I don't know. Maybe Night Elves are my least favorite race. I like. I really like the Undead. I didn't really get a whole ch a whole lot of a chance to to appreciate the humans, but I think I kind of like them, and I kind of like Orc. I guess the Night Elves are kind of like my least favorite because when you look at the units, um, you know, you got you got your Hippogriffs. Druid of the Town, that's one spellcaster coming from this building. Uh, then you have in this building another spellcaster. And by the way, Dryads was actually one of the strategies I tried because of their spell immunity. I thought they might be actually really good. No. Chaos damage just wrecks everything, so dry Dryads aren't that good. Um, as I said, the catapults are mostly the problem in this in this campaign here, and like and as I said, disabling sorry, in this mission, I mean. And in this mission, the cyclone also is very, very useful, so that's why I, I think those two combined is like that's how you beat this mission and like I said I could do it but like I mean I wouldn't show you really much anyways because as I said I got to four minutes so you know there's really no point in me showing that I, d I just figured the cheese is kind of more more interesting to to see drew the claw I did not have a lot of appreciate for, uh, appreciation for these units at all I didn't really like them, and even the Dreads were not really that great, because they could waste their, their abolished magic on a lot of useless crap, which is not great. Uh, Hippogross I didn't really like. Drew to the Talon, I began to appreciate it just now, well, like as a, like a few missions ago. Like, as, as I said, I tried to use them, they were actually okay. Realistically, the meat of your army is just like archers and huntresses, and uh, ballistas for sieging, and that's it. And then it's just, you're all about your hero. It's actually not a lot of great unit comps for night elves, actually. Less than you would think, because they just have them, like, after you get past these two units, it's basically all specialist spellcasters sort of thing, except for the dryads. Dryads, I guess, are still technically combat units, uh, but they're still sort of specialist sort of thing. But that's what the night elves are. They're very heavy in the in the specialist market. Um, I mean, it, I mean, I guess you get the true shadow and stuff. But as as I said, this is campaign, so you can't really say the much about about like any of the heroes compare comparatively to uh, to how it would be when I you're playing when you're playing against campaign because 
pretty much immediately in the in the NIF campaign, when we got all the units, we were faced up against shit with like chaos damage, which is like you're not countering, you're not playing the 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 game as an kind of like it's not really it loses its RTS value because of that. Because there's like what what do you build to counter this? Well, I, I don't know. You just do some kind of weird strategy with protectors and stuff. So I don't know. It was um, it was a very odd last mission. I won't lie. So. Uh, and I was I had less to talk about than I thought that I'll just, so I'll just wait until the tower is basically the done and that's swings. it. So peace. Come, you night elves. Where is the fire and the passion with which you fought so long ago? <laughs> oh wait, is he gonna come? Oh no, he spawned more shit, and he actually can't get past. He's walled himself in. He he built the wall and made the orcs pay for it. Good job. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm amused, I'm sorry. It's funny to me. Uh, this is fun. Come on, Night Elves. Where was the passion? Well, that's it. Easiest mission of my life. <laughs> Dick. Archimon's victory here has made him overconfident. He will not see the trap that I laid for him until it is too late. At last, the way to the world tree is clear. Witness the end, you mortals. The final hour has come. The Outlanders held him back as long as they could. Were you successful in planning the summit's defense? Yes. Now our victory is assured. The roots will heal in time, as will the entire world. The sacrifices have been made. Just as the orcs, humans, and night elves discarded their old hatreds and stood united against a common foe, so did nature herself rise up to banish the shadow forever. As for me, I came back to ensure that there would be a future. To teach the world that it no longer needed guardians. The hope for future generations has always resided in mortal hands. 
And now that my task is done, I will take my place amongst the legends of the past. Oh boy, we did it. Credits and outtakes. <laughs> Six years has passed since Ken made a video on YouTube. All right, well, that's, uh, that's the end. It's pretty good. So they actually kind of remade this in the Warcraft 3 engine. And they have like random ass uh, cubes and shit in the corner. So, all right, so uh, just a little final thought on the Night Elves that I didn't really um, go on about. Uh, so, I I think I just, I, I wasn't a fan of them, but I don't think I played them perfect either, obviously. I, I, mean, I mean, particularly that second to last mission, like whenever one of my attacks failed, uh, I kind of retreated them and then, you know, I, I kind of lost them all. I, I was just having trouble grasping the strategy around them at that exact moment, because I mean, it just kind of dips you into the Night Elf campaign and... You don't get much of a time to get used to anything. You just have to kind of go, go at it kind of a thing. Um, I don't know. Uh, also, I never used the hide mechanic at all. I never did, which you could use to kind of fuck with the AI and stuff. I, I just, I completely forgot it was a thing. So, very sad. Uncle Lothar wants you. I just remade the whole Warcraft 2 intro. He's <laughs> fucking having a drink. He needs it. Warcraft 4 win. Let me at him! Oh, oh. Let me at him! Let me at him! That's it. I'm dead. Uh. Ambush! Run for your lives! Horses are running in the tearing ahead! I like how they have a line of footmen ready to take over. Alright, this is the most elaborate credit sequence I've ever seen. Are you ready to rock? 
That way. No, that way. Wait, how, how do you get from boar to bird thing? I think there's a missing link somewhere. Alright. Alright. Well, let's just toss Theory of Evolution right out the window. <laughs> Evolution my ass. One time at Bandit Camp? <laughs> Who is your daddy and what does he do? Football. <laughs> All right, someone had way too much fun with us. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I don't remember any of this shit in the in the credits. 
No vertices were harmed during the making of this game. Yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, American football for you right there. I see an accurate representation. Oh shit, StarCraft 2? When? Oh, clearly there was a StarCraft fan somewhere there. Man, now I'm so excited for StarCraft 2. Alright, those are like orc brains with flamethrowers. Well then, that was uh, quite interesting. Like another credits page we can look at. Well, we're uh, wonder what I wonder what happens if you do it from here. Do you see all that again? I, I was unsure if I wanted to talk during any of that. Ah, this one's a bit different. Current players completed the single player campaign on hard difficulty. Oh, why? Thank you. Ah, this one's a bit different. Well, I guess while this is going on, I'll just talk, I guess, uh, during this one. Uh, so I liked it better than I thought I would. Uh, a little bit. Uh, particularly the first two campaigns were excellent. I don't know what the fuck happened with the third, the, the orc and the night elf. So, like, the orc one was about, I guess, like, as I said, going to the, whatever, the orc has their own story and stuff that was unrelated to anything. I don't know. I, I just, I like the whole Arthas, uh, arc, because it was kind of fun. It was kind of like, I guess, the best comparison I can make is StarCraft with Kerrigan and stuff like that, so... The arc was the arc was actually really nice, though. Uh, it was really good, and then it just... Orc kind of was like, meh. And Night Elf was like... It just kind of rushed something. I don't know what the fuck happened. It's like... Somewhere in the middle? Like, they're just the writing kind of turned shitty. And I, I think that's why I originally thought to myself I didn't really like this. Because it was like... That's the kind of sour taste it kind of leaves you with. Which is that stupid, like... I, I, I kind of hate the the whole trope of like, oh, the one super weapon, you know, that kind of like defeats like the big in invincible boss enemy. Like I've always kind of liked uh, StarCraft 1's whole thing, which is like, nobody's invincible. There's no super weapon kind of a thing. Um, I, I hate it when they do things like that. Like uh, like Mass Effect basically did that too, if you remember, uh, if you guys played that at any point. And it just, it's just a crappy way of doing story in, in these kinds of games and it's like a it's a it's a it's a crappy way out like i'm, I'm never i was never a big fan of when they do things like that um but yeah that's kind of why i guess i didn't like it is it just left a very sour taste in my mouth like and and i was just basically thinking the same here it's like oh you know big super weapon kills our Ar archimont what do you fucking do so um yeah i mean i didn't as i said i never really got a good grasp on what that the night elves are about and the humans either I just, I, I don't know, I, I just didn't like the Night Elf unit compositions. I just found like one or two, like a couple of units just to not be very useful, or I just didn't like them. They're not fun. The towers aren't really fun either, and I mean, I guess, yeah, as I said, you got the archers, which is kind of fun. Um, I, I actually like the orcs a lot more than I thought I would. They're, they were kind of fun, but once again, their units kind of start to get overlapping and very one-dimensional. Um, but Night Elf were definitely my favorite. Like, massing the frost worms are really fun. Those are those are cool. So, I want I want to try that race again. So, yeah. So I guess as I said, overall I liked it more than I thought I would in this because I, I knew there was some reason I didn't like it at the end or something. Because like when I went through it, I'm like, wow, the the human and undead campaigns are much better than I thought they would be. And I'm, I was wondering what the fuck was up with that. Because um, I'm like I'm like surely I would remember this. And no, it's because as I said I. I think I just remember the last campaign, which I, I think, I, as I said, I think it lot, left a lot to be desired. It wasn't that great. Um, 
but very high effort credit sequence as I can see uh, so what's next on the agenda uh, you may ask so I figure I might as well just do Frozen Throw next L let it be known that 2017 was a year that I did like every fucking Blizzard RTS under the sun uh, except for Warcraft 1 apparently but like I did Warcraft 2 this year I did Warcraft 3 I did Starcraft Remastered um, fuck it might as well let's go all the way Frozen Throne next guys come on uh, you know, I figure might as well so um, I should warn you so I'm, I'm, I'm I once again I deeply apologize if you were triggered at any point because I know I, I as I said particularly near the end with the Night Elf campaign may not have been played the best um, okay I realize my kind of my mistakes after but as I said it was it, the, the game was kind of rushing me through the Night Elves and that old short my campaign was short. Uh, actually, it was it was really short. Actually, we can go look at that right now. Uh, I don't think this credit sequence is going to do anything. So, uh, it was short as hell. Uh, if we actually look at that, so Night Elf is seven missions. Uh, Undead campaign was eight missions. I guess it actually isn't that short. It's on par. Eight missions here. Oops, prologue campaign, that doesn't count. That's just three. Uh, and human campaign was nine missions. So it was, I guess, shorter, but I guess it did dip you into the like the, the difficult stuff right away. So I guess I can't really say that. Um, I don't know. Anyways, or like if, uh, sorry, the other thing was I apologize if like you were upset because I, like, I didn't know certain things because I am playing it blind. I, I, well, basically blind. I said I had played it like 10 years ago, uh, but playing it 10 years ago is basically as if I hadn't played it before. I, I won't lie. Like, I, I kind of had a, I had a rough understanding of the story, um, but, and I kind of recollected some of the missions, but I had no idea how to beat them. I, I was, I was just flying blind. Like, uh, the, the night, the last night of all the mission, you saw me do it basically the first time. And then, as I said, there was a couple of attempts in between where I tried different strategies because I, uh, like I figured, you know, if I was restarting it with like, you know, four bands left on the clock, I might as well try something that is more effective. And then, as I said, I looked online and I, I looked at what other people were doing. And then someone had some kind of like they were, they, it was just in text. It was on like one of those like uh, kind of like Stack Overflow kind of sites where if someone could post a question, it's like, how do you beat this? And someone goes like, uh, take the invincibility mo potions and landmines and kill the acolytes and their necropolis. And I'm like, oh, that seems kind of fun. And so the time I showed you was basically my third attempt at it. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of neat. Like, that seems kind of fun. So, and I and I did it. I pulled it off uh, and it was fun. So I had fun doing it that way. But, you know, as I said, so I just said someone's probably going to get upset somewhere. So I just said, as I said three times. Anyways, yeah, so next up is uh, Frozen Throne. Uh, and so I'll warn you even more than I did last time, even when I'm starting that one. I have never played that before. Uh, I, I, I only have a vague knowledge of one big plot point as I know what happens to Arthas, uh, but I know literally nothing else. Uh, and I, I've never played through it at all. And once again, I'll go through it with, um, I, I'm not sure what you guys thought about me using that little, um, that Easter egg guide that was on, like I had on my other monitor, like you noticed I had it and I got most of the important stuff. I, I missed one or two times. But, I mean, the alternative is I don't run with something like that, and then I miss stuff. And I know there's a secret level in the expansion, so, uh, I mean, if you want me to be able to get that, I, I should have that open. So, I'm probably just going to do that again, because, as I said, I, 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 this, I, I'm this i pretty sure this run was triggering enough for some people. So, uh, But at least, I guess you got to see me play through um, a Blizzard RTS that, uh, basically blind, like, play basically without much knowledge. And I mean, I, I think I, I think a lot of people just uh, liked uh, so, some things like the orc campaign because a lot of people were saying like they didn't get the orcs, they didn't like the orcs, but they didn't understand what they were supposed to do with the orcs. Like, what are the raiders for? Uh, what what units are you supposed to do? And then I, I think I think the orcs were actually just a testament to like, I, I guess like how I figure things out on my own kind of thing, which I like doing a lot of the time. I rarely kind of go online to look for. Uh, strategies. As, as I said, I, I admit to the last mission, only on my uh, only after a couple attempts I was just wondering what was like an interesting way of beating the mission and I, and I saw that and then I just immediately tried it I'm like, oh that's kind of neat. So, But the, my first attempt through it, I, I, I didn't look anything up so 
Uh, and that was the one I, I posted basically everything up to the last four minutes. So, anyways, that's it, fellas. And uh, Frozen, as I said, Frozen Song next after a couple of days break. I'll, I'll at least kind of let this come up so you guys give me feedback and stuff. So, uh, and then I'll know for next time. So, yeah, uh, peace out and take care. Goodbye.